morning, I'm Rose Picard. This is Godly Play for August 16th. This is the desert. It's a dangerous place. People do not go into the desert unless they have to. There's no water there, and there's no food there. And without food and water, we could die. When the wind blows, it changes the shape of the desert. People get lost, and some never come back. In the daytime, the sun is so hot that people must wear lots of clothes to protect themselves from the sun and the blowing sand. The sand stings when it hits your skin. The sun scorches you by day, and at night it is so cold you need many clothes to keep warm. The desert is a dangerous place. People only go there if they have to. The people of God went through the water into freedom. They were free, and Miriam led the dancing. Now that they are free, they can go anywhere they want to and do anything they want to do. Where do you think they'll go now? God loved the people so much that God showed them the 10 best ways to live. Sometimes these ways are called the 10 commandments. As the people traveled across the desert, they followed fire by night and smoke by day. They began to complain. Some even wanted to go back to Egypt. There was not enough food and there was not enough water. Finally, they came to the great mountain. The people came close to the mountain, but they were afraid to touch it. Mount Sinai was covered with fire and smoke. Moses was the only one to go up to Mount Sinai. He climbed up into the fire and the smoke to meet God. When Moses was on top of the mountain, he came so close to God and God came so close to Moses that he knew that God wanted him to do. God wanted him to write the 10 best ways to live on stones and bring them down the mountain to the people. When Moses was on the mountain, he wanted to come even closer to God's presence. He wanted to see God's face. Show me your glory, Moses said. God said, you cannot see my face and live. God put Moses in a cleft on the rock and put his hand over him to protect him from God's presence. God took away the hand after passing by and Moses saw God's back. Meeting God face to face is sometimes way too much for us. When we see God's back though, we can follow God all of our days. God gave the 10 commandments to Moses. Moses gave them to his people and in turn those people gave them to us. Love God, love people, God loves us. Don't serve other gods, make no idols to worship, be serious when you say my name. Keep the Sabbath holy. Honor your mother and father. Don't kill. Don't break your marriage. Don't steal. Don't lie. Don't even want what others have. I know these are all really hard. God did not say that these are the 10 easy things to do. They are the 10 best ways to live. The 10 commandments, they are hard, perhaps impossible, but we are supposed to try. They mark the best way 
like stones show the way. What's your favorite of all of these? I wonder what the best part of the story is to you. Thank you for joining me for Godly Play. Have a blessed week.